Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I was getting ready to film this video and typically there's just a quite a commotion of noise the minute I start videotaping. And today there was a there was this dragster going down the street, down the hill, roaring down the hill just now. And then all of a sudden I heard the police car turning on its siren and, and going full speed off to intercept the uh, the drag racer. So that's the, the drama for today. You know, taxes are due. The ex tax extension is due here in America in a couple more days next week. And so I've been working very hard on that. And I thought I'd take a break today and do another video for the series um, Mastering the Mind that I have on YouTube and that I'll be presenting on my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, coming up soon, too. That's https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. Actually, it's already there, but it's, it's such a huge endeavor that it needs to be split up into many different web pages. And I have a, a special plug-in for that with WordPress, which is where my site is located. And so I'm hoping to get that together after I finish the YouTube videos. Anyway, I had the second in the Enlightenment series um, for Mastering the Minds. And I was going to do the voiceover, right? At the, the program that I used to use, Natural Text Reader, its URL has disappeared completely from the Internet. And so I was checking out other text-to-voice applications online. And I finally found one that I thought would work. It was free and it offered unlimited downloads using mp3. I started out uh, transcribing my text to voice preparatory to converting it to mp3 and putting it all together in an image composer file uh, to create a movie for you, for you all. I was looking forward to it. First there's the problem of overcoming the language barrier, the strange words that the program doesn't know. You have to pick out a good voice, one that sounds sweet and sympathetic rather than the sales pitch type of voice. It was almost impossible to find a program that offered that. So finally I found this program. Not only that, but it offered a lot of stuff for free. And it didn't have any conditions. It didn't say anything about like the terms of use, anything like that. So, and I looked online and I saw that, that there are no reviews that were bad for it. Seemed safe. Right, so I started out and I got to the first paragraph and I started hearing on the psychic plane a man's voice, a middle-aged man's voice. He had an endearing warble in his voice and he was talking like musing to himself or so it seemed on the psychic plane, which is totally unreliable. He was, he was musing about how he might rip off these mp3s that I was starting to make and use them, him, copyright them himself <laughs> and use them for his own purposes uh, if I didn't put them online as Creative Commons by tomorrow. So naturally I perked up. I was listening on the psychic plane because Omens like this to do with the psychic plane, although unreliable in real life, nevertheless provide a heads up for, for what we ought to do to avoid trouble in real life. I feel that's the main usefulness of them to us, psychics and light workers and so forth. <laughs> so to continue, I was trying to figure out how to get the the Indian words to be pronounced right by rephrasing the wording or respelling them or adding single quotes around them and that took some time and I kept listening and the voice persisted. So I made a, an mp3 that's, that asked the person I was talking to a question that said, is it really true that I'm hearing this voice of of a person who's saying they're going to, you know, try to copyright, try to rip off my stuff. Could that possibly be true? Could I possibly be correct on the psychic plane? And then I waited a few minutes and I heard the man's voice say, I never heard anyone ask a question like that. As if he were pondering over, you know, whether it could possibly be true. Could he be referring to him? 
the psychic plane is really a kick if you have a sense of humor. So, so I, I wrote another MP3. It, it said, yes, you heard right. That's me. I'm asking you this question. I'm just wondering what's up with that. If you were thinking of ripping off my, my words or, or because, you know, they're copyrighted on the website in advance as Creative Commons. Not really copyrighted, but the license is Creative Commons and the laws of fair use apply to all my work in all the countries in the, in the world. Anyway, uh, then I heard his wife come on. He said, honey, come and take a look at this. And her voice came on and, and she said, well, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that or something like that. So, so I paused for a minute and then I wrote back and I said, I hear the voices of a middle-aged man and woman, American voices, talking on the psychic plane about, about this ripoff situation and I was just wondering are you expatriates of the United States and and then I paused and I said you know expats don't get Obamacare <laughs> and I said that mp3 off into the astral airs and also onto onto that website and so I waited and I heard the, the man say huh and the woman said, I didn't know we couldn't get Obamacare. <laughs> so just to let you know, today I wasn't able to come through with the next video online for YouTube for Mastering the Mind, the series. Uh, but I'm going to do it. That I think I'll just use my own voice and I'll start another day fresh. And that's why I won't be able to use those beautiful voices the people in naturaltextreader.com and coming up. This is going to be, unfortunately, my voice in the video. Well, God bless you all in this time of Halloween and hope you won't be spooked out no matter what happens. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.